And now we come to the last opera of the season, La Clemenza di Tito, which I'm very excited about because it hasn't been performed at the Lyric Opera of Chicago since 1989, when I conducted it. And I remember vividly because my son was born exactly at that time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's a wonderful piece. Um, it's arguably his last opera, or was it Magic Flute? Because they were sort of at the same right. time. And, uh, and it was written, of course, for a special regal occasion in um, uh, in Prague and written in a hurry but it contains some of his most fantastic music I yes. mean the, the so many great arias exquisite duet for soprano and mezzo um, and uh, Tito's arias combine this sort of gravity with with virtuosity uh, and one of the hard things is actually making Tito Making us love Tito, yes, actually, yes. because, you know, he's just too good to be true. Goodness actually. is hard he, to make interesting. All sorts of horrible yes. things people do to him, and he keeps forgiving them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but amazing to think that Mozart, at the end of his life, returned to the very classical, very formal opera o seria opera style mm -hmm. yeah. um, that he had left behind since Idomeneo. And also extraordinary that he should be writing this piece in this style at exactly the same time as Die Zauberflöte, as the magic flute, which could not be more different. I know. What a, well, wouldn't a we miracle. all have loved to have a known miracle. him? You know? Absolutely. Yes, it's, I know. It's, it's really incredible. And of course, we have a fantastic cast. We have Joyce Titonato as Sesto. We have Matthew Polanzani as Tito himself. And we have Amanda Majeski, who was just so fantastic as our Ava in Meister Singer, as Vitellia, who, who is a very interesting character. And in the other roles, we, we have um, current and former Ryan Opera Center artists. We have Emily Bessan as Servilia. Um, we have Cecilia Hall as Agno. And we have Christian Van Horn as, as Publio. So actually, Joyce Di Donato is the only person in the cast who is not a, a present or former member of the of the opera and isn't that wonderful isn't yeah, that a, a tribute to the, the strength of our Rhine Opera Center tribute, that yeah. you've identified such extraordinary talent and it's not just that they're performing here they're performing this repertoire everywhere yeah. in all the major houses and Joyce Di Donato is definitely one of the greatest singers in the next generation um, she's excelled in across so many uh, different kinds of repertoire genre concerts or opera and it's, and I especially love the fact that she's connected with her audience not just through her photo blog but also through social media she's very clever with technology but you know British and American singers I think in in Mozart and in Baroque have distinguished themselves extraordinarily well and that's been the music that we've excelled in more than any other repertoire mm. and and therefore it's 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 going to be very exciting to hear this great singing it's a really mouth-watering cast. I, I can't imagine a more perfect cast for this yes. opera. No, I, I, so, even to so Publio, who is yes. a minor character, but Christian, yes. is, who is now working in Germany, uh, and, and is a fantastic bass, you know. And the quality of the music is so staggering. One of my favorite pieces in this opera is the little duet for Sevilla and Agno, two of the less important characters. Right. And it's a moment of sublime beauty. Hmm. It, it lasts two minutes, yes. maybe. Uh, and yet it's heart-stopping. It is, absolutely. It, it might be worth casting our minds back to 1989 when the Agno was Susan Graham, a very oh. young Susan Graham. Oh. <laughs> yes. So it's, and um, you, you uh, tell us about the production. It's a production that was brand new in uh, the Aix-en-Provence Festival two years ago, um, both directed and designed by Sir David McVicker. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's a very beautiful production. Um, actually, the... Um, wall, the real wall of the Théâtre de l'Archevêché, which is in the ancient Archbishop's Palace mm -hmm. in Aix-en-Provence, is a, a very important part of the set. And no, they're not going to demolish that wall and transport it to Chicago. No, we, we couldn't afford it. We couldn't <laughs> afford to do that. But what we have is a very precise, very beautiful reproduction of that very yeah, um, famous piece of masonry. Mm -hmm. um, the opera is set in ancient Rome, and this production is very much an enlightenment take on ancient Rome, actually very true to the spirit yes, of the music. Yes, precisely. Um, yes. It's, it's an 18th century view uh, of uh, ancient Rome. Very beautiful to look at, um, very grand to look at, um, but also um, very focused around the characters uh, and their predicament. Mm -hmm.